Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Pathfinder Kingmaker. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we find many things. Um, and, uh... D d where are we going? We're going back home, uh, but I don't want to go there. I want to go here. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. Curious, curious. Yeah, we're going back home. Be uh, well, uh, let me let me put this on. Uh, we're going back home. How is the fa what is the fastest way? That is the fastest way, potentially. That is the fastest way. How fast is sixteen hours? Sure. It. We're not gonna be able to get there anyway. Or actually, wait. Is it better to cross the river here or later? It is better to cross the river here. Okay. Yeah, do your thing. Do your thing, auto find GPS thing. Yeah. So let's go into kingdom management and we're going to go back. Uh, Lindsay has finished the thing. We're going to go back because we need to talk to, to Lindsay as well. Improved diplomacy. Plus three build points each time the Grand Diplomat successfully resolves a situation. And uh, also trade agreement with Gralthron. By abolishing all trade tariffs on imported goods from Gralthron, we will forgo all immediate profit. However, this will provide a solid foundation for a stable long term. Uh, growth plus five economy. It's not going to provide a foundation if they're competing with our people who are trading. That's how tariffs work. If you want your people to have an advantage and you have a mean... Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know anything. Anyway, we need to go talk to Lindsay for sure and we only have two projects. Uh, well, actually, that's not true. We have more because we have these. But no regions. Let's see if I have anything here. Bad and bad. Okay, next up. Strengthen, strengthen. Support the treasure. Yeah. Uh, support. Uh, strengthen. Support. 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 Trade agreement. Bad. Nope. Wait. Is that bad? Probably is. Speculation allows plus two BP for a week. Oh, no. It's a terrible one. Support and trade. Okay. Well, I guess uh, unless this one suddenly becomes available, which... Even if it does, I it support, so I don't really care for it, because those don't don't matter, because we um we don't have them in those positions. It's sort of weird that they show up like that. You'd expect then, you know, just allow your uh, like hide them automatically if you don't have the 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 people in the positions that they're, those strengthening things are are supposed to be there for, uh, and also show automatically if uh, they if you put them there. Yeah, just avoid all of those. It doesn't matter. It's going to be like two kobolds or something. At least here, I think it will be. We're very tired, which is fine with me. Uh, because we can sleep for cheap in here. Well, only for eight hours. That's I'm not sure if it is for eight hours anymore. I think it is for a day now. Let's go to the throne room and meet with Lizzy. Lindsay. Not Lizzy. Lindsay. Imagine that! Queen! You know, I always believed in you. You keep it up, and who knows? In a couple of years, you might even become an emperor. But that... This, this is... You are the worst, Lindsay. Why would I want to be the subjugator of people? Uh, but that Armag, he and those creepy sisters barely managed to find the tomb. Who are we going to find... How are we going to find it? I mean, I suppose I have a bit of an idea, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I think I know exactly where the tomb is. Don't worry about it. Um, can I not say that? Or something? Hmm. I have scouts we can send to the Glenabon uplands. They can scour out the, the location for us. Seriously? You have your own scouts? Well, I don't know why I'm so surprised. You're soon to be queen. Fine, then. Let them search. We could ask the Tiger Lords. Sorry, but that's a dead end. I always chatted... I already chatted them up a bit, and they know about the same as we do. The tomb is somewhere in the Glenabon Uplands, uh, one of the harsher regions. There is little shell. Does he not say where it is? He does not. Oh, look at me. Anyway. And Glenabon is, well, you know, big. Really big. Like, yeah. Uh, what do you mean how exactly we'll find it? The same way we always do. We pack our things and go find it. The tomb's well hidden. Over the centuries, no one but Armag has found it, and it took him forever. If we go wandering around without a clue, we could still be looking till the ne the end of time. 
before we go, we need some leads. Sure. Uh, so what's your, uh, what's this idea of yours? Go ahead and share it. It can't hurt. Which is... Uh, I didn't say that line because it sounds very dismissive. <laughs> and apparently it's the line that we're supposed to say. We're not the first to leave in this land, in these lands. Countless other people were here before us. Maybe they knew something about the tomb. If we could find some archives some uh, from previous inhabitants of the stolen lands, like the dwarves maybe... Truth be told, I don't really know where to look for them, but these lands are swarming with ruins. There must be an archive or two left somewhere. I mean, maybe, hopefully. Yep, I'll give the orders. Let's do it then. Let's find the tomb. We have to hurry. Who knows what Armag might do with given enough time there. Yeah, I'm... I mean, for all I know, it's going to take him decades or millennia because it's like uh, d the business of the dead. Dragoner shows up and uh, gives me a thing. Thank you. And what is that thing? It is an ankle breaker. Oh, thought it was going to be a knee breaker. It's just a plus one slow. It's terrible. It's a terrible thing. I mean, I suppose it's fine, but yeah. And of course, we have new things to do. Well, I probably should have pressed just R and uh, everything was going to be fine. Let's just store the things that we don't need here. Uh, sort by. Can you go away? Uh, price in descending. You can't go away. Thank you. So, speed javelin plus three, that is potentially good. Am I storing normal, non-named weapons? I don't believe I am. I am not. Ankle breaker goes. Reaper's vest goes. Protector of the unjust goes. Good stuff. Okay. Very quiet. Everything is very quiet. We can hear a clock. Okay. That's... Wasn't the door? Oh, I'm confused. And, uh... That's that. Yeah, nobody's, nobody else is going to show up. Well, the visitor met with the Baroness. And uh, we have the Kellett Scouts that we can't do anything about for the moment. We have a, I have a sneeze coming up as well. Two sneezes, in fact. <laughs> I'm sorry. And uh, find any hint of the on the location of Armag's tomb. Now, that's going to be three days until that's done, so that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, support the Grand Diplomat's Endeavor. That is quite a lot of... It's quite a bummer, actually. It's bad. Um, and the reason why that is bad is because I... Uh, night days... I could skip the three days. Uh, let's see how long I wait. Uh, I rest for. Rest for it took eight hours. So if I rest again, does it take eight hours? Because I think it takes a day for reasons. <laughs> why does it take a day? Not that it matters, but uh, why? Let's rest again. Yeah, why? I mean, again, not that it matters, because it doesn't, but why? I don't get it. Huh. Anyway, we can skip days in here, and that's that's all that matters, because I'm waiting for that one. It's so late in the day, though, so that's that's why I'm trying to squeeze that little last little bit. Crime fighters provide plus two bonus to resolve any problem by the warden. That's pretty good. Okay. Now. Oh. Oh, what? It's marked as an X. It doesn't matter. You can just do it. Fantastic. Requires 30 days to solve. Uh, find any hint of the location? Yes, I will do that. Uh, that is also a problem. Ah, well, whatever. Uh, it's a problem. I'll show you why it's a problem. Um, so... So you're going to do that. And uh, send your best scouts. Absolutely. No check. So I'll just do that. Uh, the problem with that is... I have six days left. But if I support uh, the endeavors of the diplomat, for example, what is my current stats right now? Uh, the relations, arcane, stability. I probably want to support the arcane if I have uh, the wardens. That's stability over there. Curators, regents, high priest. What's that for? Divine. Hmm. Treasures, endeavor, sanus skill. Hmm. 
I don't have arcane. Let's go with the diplomat. It's the lower one. So if I do this, it's not gonna happen. Or rather, it's gonna it's gonna be a, a before the end of the month, and the event is gonna fail because there was an event that had to be dealt before this, and you'll see that happen. So she probably wants to talk to me now. Varnhold militia. Turval has asked for help in creating Varnhold's own militia, an independence force that would independent force that would help uh, protect Varnhold from bandits and keep peace. Uh, in the region, so that is a success. Uh, Van Holmich is ready. Turval is grateful, uh, and we can provide that. Wait, 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 wait. And ready to start working uh, as a leather worker if we can provide her with a suitable workshop. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I can't because I don't have space for that, and that is a, a bad thing. Uh, this is still here, or did it change? Also, why are you? I don't know. Anyway, we're good. Let's see. So this one um, is for the Kellet Scouts, and I can just do that. Or maybe it didn't, like, maybe it's a new one. 65% is kind of rubbish, though. Let's see what we have over here. Omen, a white deer with bloody antlers was seen in the forest. Not for the first time, either. Uh, we got the Storyteller. That is a good enough chance. Okay, so if I put you over here, I will know that you need, you're needed there. They're all in this together. A strange theory is spreading through the capital that the Baroness is secretly a lycan lycanthrope. During the day, she pretends to be a lycanthrope. That's a werewolf. Yeah, sure. I mean, 70% uh, though. What's that going to give me? Loyalty. Hmm. Devouring children. Oh, yeah. That sounds like a, a, a joy. All the blood and bits of bone and all that. So we got two things that we need to talk to. Uh, two people that we need to talk to in the throne room. Let's go ahead and do that. Before we decide on what to do next. It's Lindsay. Lindsay shifts from foot to foot. Giladel, not all diplomatic problems are solved openly. Sometimes a problem needs to be concealed, and sometimes... Oh, is this an unlocking of the spy? And sometimes knowledge must be ciphered and secrets overheard. To do this, you... Yes, it is. To do this, you would need a spy chief. I'm not fit for the job. I'm used to speaking my mind, not keeping silent. Please find a worthy minister for this position, and meanwhile, I will try to handle today's delicate matter. There is a guard detail from Sene Seven Arches at the border. They were sent by the Voice of the Wind, all its capital V in capital W. One of the elder druids who rules Seven Arches, a diplomat and chief scout. Their guard keeps insisting there's an elf hiding in our lands. Yeah, there's... I'm an half-elf, I suppose there's... Other, anyway, a fugitive who slipped out of their city. They asked us to help capture him, or at least not to hinder their search, but in Seven Archers, they'll say an elf is a, quote, criminal, unquote, when they really mean he is a, quote, hindrance, unquote. Since it wasn't us who sentenced him, why should we assume that he's a villain? It would be better if I... If... It would be better if find him and help him get back home to Kionin, uh, which is a homeland of the elven race. So uh, we're assuming he, that's his home as well. Okay, good, good, good job. Um, and we have choices over here for arcane and relations, uh, community loyalty and stability. Uh, okay, no, no minuses. Okay, tell me about yeah, tell me about this conflict between the se uh, seven arches and Kionin. Uh, it, did she didn't say, she didn't say that it was a conflict with Kionin, but whatever. Seven arches are built on a spot that is sacred to elves. The elves fled from there once, and druids, the oak stewards, have ruled there ever since. The elves of Kionin would like to return their shrine, or at least be granted access to it, but druids are wary of Kionin and feel hostile to any elves on their territory. Uh, well, um, hmm. Make sure the elf reaches Kionin. Helping him get home is the nice thing to do. It's also the correct thing to do. I'll make sure... She didn't say that bit, though. Uh, I'll make sure we find the elf and get him back home safely. I'm sure Keonin will appreciate the friendly act. They might even send a letter of gratitude. Oh, I love letters of gratitude. Along with some ancient magical books. Okay, that I like a little bit better. Or, oh, I should stop daydreaming, she says. Oh, it's for you. Okay. Bye. Nice. And there was another. Yes. Who's this? Oh, it's Jod. You have a bow? Or is that a staff? 
Your Grace, there is one small matter, a series of small matters, actually, that's growing in to a larger problem. Your goblin ally seems to have invited more of his tribe to the capital, and they are acting as if as if it is their home. It seems your goblin friend and his allies have been industrious in their latest blasphemy. They are erecting statues to Lamashtu, the mother of beasts, right outside the capital. It's heresy, and it is spreading fear and panic among the people. Could you please look into that matter? The guards are hesitant to deal with the one close to you personally. They shouldn't be dealing with it at all. What is this? Do we not do we not let people worship whatever gods they want? Is this is that is that a hmm? no? Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to have to have a chat with the guards then. Knock knock in the great mother. Or I guess just follow the quest line through and see whatever the game developers wrote. Reach Armag's tomb, that is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna need to wait a little bit. Knock knock in the Great Mother, that's a companion quest. Oh, and they're gonna need to have knock knock with me, I think. Increase the rank of the Baronies stats 40 times. I think that's just an infinite amount of quests on that, to be honest. Just keeps going and going and going. Grand Diplomat, one, yeah, plus one diplomacy and Goblin Problem, success. Uh huh. And then we have these. Okay, we have some projects and advisors, more importantly. What is that about? Dexterity for a spy, of course, because of the misunderstanding of what a spy is, of course. The minister oversees the Baronese intelligence network and protects against espionage by foreign powers. Well, I guess they didn't misunderstand what spying was in here. <laughs> uh, short. Jethal, you're you're good at this. Do your thing. The council is complete. Now there's someone to take care of the barony apart from that did disappeared. It's fine. I can read it over here. Except I can't. It's fine. I need to. It's it's good. We don't need it. So we have easier. Cl Whoa. Is this a? No, it's not a land claim. Region claims and upgrades cost 15% less. That does cost a bunch of money. So. That would be 15%. So if I'm expecting to spend a thousand build points, I would break even. Am I expecting to th spend a thousand build points on that? I don't know. I don't think so. It says N upgrades. What does that mean? Because I'm supposed to, I'm expecting to spend a lot of that on. Huh. Sure. Let's send easy. Uh, easy? <laughs> Lindsay. To, uh, to do that. That might be a good thing. And support the Grand Diplomat's endeavors. So I would need... You know what? How long does that last? 20 days? Kanara, you can do it. It's actually quite good. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see. So you're good to go. You're good to go. Ish. And you're good to go. Again, ish. But I don't mind that one as much. Um... I don't think I mind any of these to be to fail, to be honest. Although, I hope they don't. So, don't do that. Do this. Because if I click here, destruction and... And, yeah. And bad things happen. I'm still not done, as far as I can tell. And... Support the Grand Diplomat's Endeavors for... Uh, Lindsay is going to want to talk to me. Uh, relations, Okay. A white deer with a triumph. The white deer. The magister paged through the bestiary and concluded that the deer was an illusion. And we got plus three culture because of reading books. Uh, and uh, you're going to need to wait a little bit. Mysterious weed. A giant weed is taking over more and more farmland. Someone must persuade the peasants to start fighting this pest. I, Harim can do it. Oh, the end is coming. And they're going to be so bored out of their minds that they're going to be like, okay, we're going to fight the weed. We're going to smoke it. Uh, the locals have sm sided small bands of barbarians. Oh, it's another one of the Khaled ones. Do I have two of them going at the same time? I'm starting to think that this uh, is just free free uh, results. And Hell Knights arrived at the castle. I have a castle now. I mean, I suppose it isn't a castle, though. It's not even a keep. That, that, that would... Them sort of supposedly make it a castle. The Order of the Rack is a Hell Knight order founded in 4638 IR 
it was one of the several new or re-established orders created in the aftermath of the disbanding of the various Hell Knight orders previously charged. Yes, welcomes you, Baroness. Even though I'm the one who's welcoming you. A black-skinned woman slightly bows her carefully shaved head. My name is Lynxia. I come from the distant land of Zeliax in search of a dangerous criminal who is hiding in your barony. Uh, can I learn about Zeliax? Infernal Zeliax remains one of the most powerful nations militarily in the Inner Sea region. Its control of the Arch of Aroden, or Aroden, uh, the passage between the Inner Sea and the Arcadian Ocean, also gives it a vital role in much of the region's trade. Nevertheless, as important as the nation may be today, it pales in comparison to its former imperial glories. Today, um, Zeliax suffers from extreme diabolism, which they didn't apparently back in when they were an empire, and a tyranny, which, well, again, they didn't before, uh, which prevented it from truly achieving its full potential. Which, I suppose, okay. Lingzia stands tall and almost motionless. The reflected torchlight dances on the surface of her polished black armor and in the depths of her watchful black eyes. I am glad we that we have met, and I believe the rule of law in your barony. Nope, that you that is not. Nope, don't don't have those. Uh, or hopefully not. I mean, I do because the anyway. Uh, in your barony, not just empty phrases. I hope it is. I, I do. I hope for the cooperation from your subjects and you personally. Contrary to her words, Lingzia's face does not express any gladness. The corner of her mouth twitches slightly, betraying carefully concealed dis discontent. Oh, is she, are they not? I, I have the impression that they would be lawful evil. Because they're, you know, they're devils. They're hell knights. I mean, that, right? Does it say here? He doesn't say anything about their alignment, though. Huh. Assume its rightful role. Yeah, lawful evil, I would say. I mean, it sounds like it's just from the description of Zeliax alone. Um, who's this fugitive you're looking for? A dangerous pirate, a murderer, and a rebel named Darvin the Dashing Fairwood. He was found guilty of inciting a rebellion and murdering a noble lord in Zeliax. The law of my order is unwavering. Yeah, the law tends to be. That it's the people who enforce the law that are unwavering. The knights, I suppose. Although, historically, knights don't actually enforce the law. I mean, they... It's... Anyway. The punishment of such crimes is death. Darvin's rebellion took place in Zeliax three years ago. The order of the rack quickly... That's such a weird name, though. I mean... <laughs> quickly it's like ah oh, i just really do like eating from the rack nom, 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 or something i suppose rack can mean anything um quickly suppressed it wait 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 rack is a torture device that you chose the worst torture device that I, whatever i mean it's not <laughs> the worst named to a torture device. Quickly suppressed... Oh, she says. Quickly suppressed it. The participants were jailed, and the instigators quartered. But their leader, Darwin, managed to escape. I have followed his trail for a long time, and now it has led me here. Uh, I can't kill you. I can't... Uh, well, it's probably because she's not a companion. Um, tell me about the Order of the Rack. We are the Hell Knights. We guard law and order. Legitimate authorities can rely on us entirely. Criminals tremble when they hear our footsteps. The Order of the Rack is a union of the Knights of Zeliax, led by hatred of idleness, worthless philosophy, and... You, which is... I suppose worthless philosophies? Or is she just saying that any philosophy is worthless? Because that's sort of... that That's... That's a philosophy in and of itself. That's one of those things, you know? One of those things that just is unavoidable. And you are... It's To say that a phil that philosophy is worthless is philosophy. Is a philosophical statement, if, it's, if you know what I mean. I don't know. Like... It's not like... I, anyway. And useless... Uh, and she says, and useless knowledge. Again... I'm not sure what to think of anything. Indulgence leads to lawlessness and insurrection. I know that I don't like her. It's stuff like this, anyway. Uh, we seek out any manifestations of the scent and burn them. Be they books, scientific treatises. Again, not knowing if she's referring to any scientific treatises or to all scientific treatises. Or those who create them. 
Lingzia sizes you up. It is in your best interest to maintain friendly relations with us. Trust me, Baroness. Um, catching, catching criminals is one thing, but burning books is too much. I would say both. Maybe catching criminals is even worse than burning books. Because, you know, yeah, they're criminals. If their laws are bad, then protect the criminals, please. That, I mean, because it, it, this is what it sounds like, that their laws are the worst and these criminals are just people who are actually trying to make a better to make a, the world a better place and uh and they're they're being pursued by by the scumbag law over here hmm but the game is not letting me weigh in on that particular aspect your actions in zilliacs do not concern me but while you are in my land I demand that you remain refrain from such extreme measures no you you need to refrain from you need to be refrain from being. I really wanted to kill you, but I don't think I can. I'm gonna re maybe they're gonna play a bigger part uh, in the in the game later. I'm gonna remain silent for a moment. Lingzia stares at you with an intense look, and then she blinks as if suddenly relaxed. We stand on the side of legitimate authority. Yeah, that's that's my I that's yeah. I I mean, I, I don't even need to talk to to talk about in my character's voice to be honest. You need to be a you not need not be afraid, Baroness. Uh, get out of my barony. Lingzia's face remains as stony as ever. Only the corner of her mouth expresses displeasure without with your decision, which she was doing already. You misunderstand me, Baroness. The investigation will continue with or without your permission. Oh, I hope it's a quest. I hope that sound that I heard is a quest. The Order of the Rack always collects. No one should stay in its way. Nazriel. That's commendable. Thank you. Give me more. What is that? Potions? Uh, just shiny it. Yep. Yeah. Menace. Is this different? Yep, yeah, it is different. Oh, most worthy one, I spend day and night listening to the stories that guests of my wor workshop bring to share. I decided to sort those stories and put them in two baskets. One for stories from local peasants and hunters, and another for stories of travelers from faraway lands. Surprised I was to see that the first basket stays empty all the time, while the other is almost full. While I was thinking about it... I took a walk in the forest, and I meant to jump over the forest stream, but being as how my mind was all distracted by my great basket mystery, I accidentally jumped too high and into the upper branches of a tall oak. And there they were, the stories that had been stolen from the first basket, all hidden in a magpie nest. Sitting on the oak branches, I asked the magpies why they stole from the basket of local stories and never touched the other. And the magpies told me that they love everything that's shiny and bright. And what could be shinier and brighter than your fellow neighbors discussing how they went to the stream to wash their clothes or repaired their fence three years ago. Surely not the dusty stories of weary travelers. Ask yourself, O oh worthy one, why I told you this story. Uh, she says... Because you like lying. That's why you tell me stories like this. And this is your answer. Or that is your answer? Probably that. That is your answer. I have reforged... No, it is this. Period dash. I, refor I have reforged this story into the gift which I present to you now. Menace is the, the name of the gift. I like the story, even though it's a lie. But, uh, you know, that's you know it's fine. It's, that's what stories are for. Well... You know, it's kind of complicated, but sure. Menace is a dueling sword that I can't use. It's a plus three brilliant energy weapon. Plus two luck bonus to uh, combat maneuvers defensive. And a plus two luck bonus to combat maneuvers bowfensive. That's the, that's the name of the thing. I don't know what those stand for. <laughs> the game does not explain those. And to be fair, they're a lot better in... Uh, 
in tabletop than they are in this game. Because you're going to always, like, you're, first off, you're not going to be fighting 5,000 enemies in, in tabletop. You're going to be fighting three, and you're going to be there for three hours. It's fine. Not quite. Well, that's not how it works. But anyway, you're, I'm just taking it's a, a hyperbole. Still, uh, the point is, actually in D&D &D 4, the, the point of D&D &D 4 was to make sure that that didn't happen. And guess what? People didn't like that. Lingzia still interrogates your people, but with less aggression and frequency. I will need to freaking kill Lingzia in the face. Can I not do that? <sighs> it's fine. We're, we're gonna leave. We have many things to do. <clears throat> and I have a throat to clear. Anyway, uh, yeah. So in tabletop, it works a little bit better with combat maneuvers. Because you're gonna be saying things like, I wanna grapple that person over there so that they don't reach my friend who's over on the other side. Positioning is, positioning is an issue in tabletop, but it's... It's just a lot easier to deal with, in, 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 from what I understand. I was going to say in my experience, the experience of watching people play, really, at this point. Although, by the time you see this episode, uh, I might have started playing uh, D&D 5, uh, but we'll see. Where did you meet Darwin? Oh, the, they're investigating. The Hell Knight on the Rack. Uh, Hell Knight on the Rack. Now, isn't that what I just want to see? Uh, where did you meet Darwin? Speak or I'll skin you alive. I don't know. I don't know anything, I swear. I have never heard that name before. Please, I don't beat me anymore. Uh... Stop this immediately, I'm gonna say. I didn't give you I didn't give you my permission or anybody's permission to beat my subjects. Oh. There's no follow-up to that. Or maybe there is. It seems I was right in my suspicions. The rule of law in these lands is just a bunch of empty words. Ah, <sighs> thank you for your nice, uh, eulogies. Not eulogies, what's the word? Compliments, yeah. Worth no more than a wooden coin. It's not surprising seeing their ruler's weak will. A wooden coin? What do you mean the wooden coin is not worth... You should come to my real life place. I, we have coins made of paper. That's what it, they're made of. That's uh, yeah. You should. They are worth a lot. Anyway, um, I know what she means though. Then it's not. We have. Uh, there's a word for it in in. Uh, well, actually, in 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 the Renaissance, that it wasn't as common as it was in medieval times, uh, for coins to be of mint. Is it of mint worth? I'm not actually sure how that goes. But they were still pretty common, uh, you know, co uh, coins that were worth their weight in, in precious metals uh, in the co current market or modern, uh, normal, mar common market is what I want to say. Uh, who gave you the authority to beat uh, and intimidate my subjects? Exclamation mark, question mark. Uh, I'll, that basically can be summed up in that, to be honest, because I don't really care who gave you. It's a, I don't, the problem is I don't know if that is a, a rhetoric question, Then I hope it is. Uh, you may continue your investigation. Get out of my barony. Guard Caesar! That's the one. Yes! Guard Caesar! If a gaze could incinerate... It, it can. There... Because of spellcast. There would be a handful of smoldering ash right where you stand. Hell Knights, we're leaving. We'll continue our investigation somewhere else. Yeah, that's, that's good. Don't get in the way of the Order of the Rack, Baroness. This is my final warning. I really wish I could, though. Can't. Game doesn't allow me to. Await the conclusion of Lingzia's investigation. Wait, did that actually? Yep. That actually. Wait. Two exclamation marks between parentheses. Come on. What is this? Text messages. <laughs> oh no. Oh well. They're they're going away. So uh, we're good. Let's leave. Uh, do I need to rest? No, I don't. Land defenders. Oh, that's the things that that uh, that we have. Good stuff. The the bonuses that we have and whatnot. Citizen. Oh, this is how we leave. I hope I don't need knock knock. Do I need to talk to knock knock? Because knock knock is here, right? Yeah, I do need to talk to knock knock. I mean, I assume I do. I. I... One of knock knock's ears perks up. At your approach, he affixes you with a single eye and waits. Um, I 
I haven't heard much about goblins since the trading post incident. Where where are they? Hiding! Sneaking! Knock knock grins. Goblins good at hiding and sneaking. You will hear from us soon. You no worry. I will. I have heard already your tr that your tribe is building shrines to Lamastra near the capital. Yes, be praised, thou mother of beasts. You want to pay re respect to her? I will show you. I guess I have no choice but to visit those shrines. You like it? Promise. I... D I don't want to be a terrible person. So, hmm. Knock Knock refused to be reasoned with. I didn't reason with Knock Knock. I mean... I mean... I mean... Look at that. Look at that. What is this? What is this alignment? At least I'm still chaotic. Was I not chaotic? I don't think I... I, thought I, I think I was neutral good before, actually. But, you know, chaotic good. Whatever. That's a little bit better. But, um... Are we going this way or are we going that way? Line shifted neutral good. Because I gave the six bears tribe some money. I, I, I would think that's pretty lawful neutral, to be honest. But apparently it's neutral good. Whatever. Uh, a line shifted to chaotic neutral because I forbade Lingzia's investigation. Again, I would think that is a lawful uh, chaotic good. Are, maybe they're evil. Or maybe they're good. Thems I don't know. Is the game... I mean, the game is clearly permanently confused about what, what the alignments could be. Not really what they are, because they are what they are. I'm not... Like, this is... I'm not saying that the game is wrong. Well, I, sometimes I might say it, because I just misspeak or whatever. Like, sure. They're chaotic neutral. It's chaotic neutral. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, that's the problem with this wheel, is that if you say it is, then it is. Uh, there's no, uh, there's no room for, uh, there's no room for argument and just be like, oh, that's not evil, that's neutral or something. No, no, it's evil because it's said to be evil and that's it. No argument because this is not morality. <laughs> this is just the canon of what things are. Uh, but you know, they could be other things if you thought of it, uh, about things differently. I assume. Uh, I thought the that the Hell Knights were pretty evil in the way they sounded on all the things. Uh, not just the things that they said about burning books and, and skinning people. Um, about the other things, too. But, uh, let's see. So, let's see. Let's disagree with some more. Align shifted to chaotic evil. I attacked an allied squad of Rostovic warriors. Uh, yeah. I, uh, yeah. That was, that was a bit of an indulgent aspect of me. Chaotic evil, though. Like, immediately chaotic evil. Which is the worst kind of evil, as we know. Um, not really. I'm just kidding. I mean, the... the Games tend to think of it like that, but not well, but it's all evil, right? It's all evil. It's just different types of evil. Uh, Lineman shifted to chaotic good because I answered the barbarian's questions about power and loyalty. Of course, uh, told the forefathers he wasn't. He has no right to treat Kanara and Kalike as his possessions, and that's chaotic good. I suppose it is chaotic, and it is chaotic good. Yeah, look at that. We're agreeing, but I I don't really know where we're going with that. In, uh, in regards to if we're going up or down. I think we're going up, but... then I also don't know if, like, the... I think the most recent is the uppermost one on that list. And the... the yeah, it must be. Because it's been a while since I did Canaras, uh playthrough. Or quest, not playthrough. Goblin clearing. Oh, that's where we're supposed to go. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's go there. And we're going to get a thing immediately anyway. This place cannot be visited. Well, it can. It's just you're confused about things. And uh, troubleshooter. Mm, that sounds like we succeeded. We did indeed. The locals have sighted and success. The guard found and executed some barbarian scouts. It's just we're at war with them. I, it makes it sound like we're at war with them. It's like, are we? Uh, just, it's pretty brutal. It's pretty brutal. Uh, what do we have? Kelly scouts. More murder. Murder all of them. This is free stuff, I assume. Um, yep. I think it is. Like they keep coming. Just keeps uh, keeps happening more and more, and now we have room to go into the fort. This place cannot be visited right now. Oh, because of we don't have knock knock. Is it? No. It, I mean, it must be. It doesn't say that. Visit the clearing just outside the capital. I don't understand 
that. I don't understand many things, as you well know, but that I don't understand. Hmm. We'll figure it out. It's fine. Let's go to Kendalmere Tower, the place where there was a lot of skulls. I was talking about last episode about skulls, and I hate how I hate them. And uh, well, hopefully they won't be back. But we're out of time for the day, so uh, we're gonna have to find that out next episode. For right now, I'm Curl RPG, and this has been Pathfinder Kingmaker. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye bye.